Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog, and today we have toy news. Uh, so I'm very excited about this because obviously I work for a toy company, I work for Lego, I'm a big toy collector, have been my entire life. Uh, started with He-Man and then Transformers and then pretty much never stopped after that. And uh, speaking of Transformers, Hasbro is the company that has the rights to a lot of the Marvel properties to make them the action figures. And so we're getting a couple different waves here. And I want to first stress, because I had people writing me saying, you know, after I Instagrammed, uh, hey, these are the uh, Venom sets that are coming out from Marvel Legends. And everyone's like, no, those are the movie figures. Uh, no, they aren't. Uh, yes, they are, and no, they aren't. So basically what's happening is uh, there is a line of Venom toys coming out. But these figures that we've seen so far are not based on the movie designs. I think they're even still working out the designs of Venom for the movie. And typically when you you know make a movie and you have special effects and you have merchandise coming out, Typically, uh, you will you know work over a year in advance to develop the toy so that the toy is ready to go when the movie comes out. So I think what they're doing with this is they're just like, hey, look, we're behind on the design for the toy. We'll have to do something later. Maybe they'll do a Marvel Select toy, or maybe they'll do a second wave of Marvel Legends like in 2019, closer to when like the DVD or Blu-ray comes out, and maybe they'll time it for something like that, and they'll do more movie accurate versions. But for the first line, as far as we know. It's just going to be versions of these characters based off the comics. But we may still get characters from the movie, just get their comic book versions. And uh, But we don't know that for sure, and we won't know until Toy Fair, which is in a couple weeks in New York. Um, and New York Toy Fair, I think the exclusive is going to go to uh, a place called... I have it on here. By the way, this, I'm getting all this information from Hollywood Reporter. Um, so make sure uh, you check out the link down below for any information I might miss when I talk about this if you want the full details uh, down below. But Heat Vision, uh, they are going to get the exclusive first look at Toy Fair in mid-February. Um, and I think it's like the 16th, 17th, somewhere around there. Uh, and I think it's the 17th it starts and it goes all weekend. So uh, I will keep an eye out during that time uh, for Heat Vision, especially I'll, I'll bookmark their site and I'll make sure I, I keep an eye out. They're going to get the exclusive first look at the other figures that are going to come out with this wave. So what waves do we have? Because uh, I have pictures here too, courtesy of Hollywood Reporter. Uh, we have first up the Marvel Legends wave. Now, Marvel Legends is a line that has gone, been going on for almost 20, over 20 years, I think, uh, since the first Marvel Legends waves. And they are just these awesome, super articulated, super detailed uh, figures that are about six inches tall and just uh, come with a lot of cool accessories. And a lot, a lot of times they come with a piece of a character ever since like series seven or eight, uh, they have build a figure. So if you buy one character, you get the one character and then maybe like a leg of somebody. If you buy all the characters, you can take that leg and the their leg and the body and arms and build a giant super figure out of something and usually they do characters like apocalypse or you know galactus or a sentinel they, they pick like big things uh, and sometimes lately they just pick bigger versions like i think recently they did venom the space like the space knight version of venom uh, and he was a build a figure which looked pretty cool so in this uh, marvel legends line normally there's four to six characters in a line uh, depending on the line and uh, it looks like we hopefully will get a full six for this first venom line it's going to start off with carnage so there's the image there. You can check that out. Uh, that is the Carnage figure. It looks very similar to the one I have back here. Um, I do have a Carnage back here, as you can see. Uh, so this that one looks very similar to this one. Uh, if anything, it looks like they're going to change the hand a little bit, maybe make the fingers a little bit longer. Uh, they're going to still keep this stuff going, coming off of them. Uh, and it looks like they're going to give him an axe accessory where his fingers turn into an axe, uh, which is pretty cool. And again, we're going to talk about Carnage a lot next week uh, for Carnage Week, so get ready for that. Uh, but he's our first figure that they showed. And then we have Venom. And Venom, this figure is, as you can see, based off the comic book. He's got some of the symbiote, though, like coming up. I wonder if that means you could take off his head and put an Eddie Brock head on. So that way when you put the symbiote looking thing up, it looks like it's coming up to wrap around his face to make him into Venom, which would be really cool. A lot of times these come with extra hands because you can see his fists are closed. So he might come with extra hands that have that make his hands open and claw-like so he can slash, you know, like at Carnage. Um, and again, just seeing Carnage here and seeing him in this line, it doesn't mean he's in the movie, although I'm sure he probably might be. Uh, like I said, ever since Sony has been trying to do a Venom movie, they've been trying they they had carnage as the main bad guy so it may just be a reveal they're trying to keep super secret uh but because he's a fan favorite the toys are coming out and like in typical hasbro uh, fashion they're recycling some of the toys like i said that carnage looks pretty much identical to this one 
just with a few features. And this came out a couple like a couple years ago in Marvel Legends Spider-Man uh, figure set. Uh, so Venom, he looks like a similar one they had before, just a slightly different head on him. Uh, but again, these are not based off the movie, and these do retail for $19.99. So when these come out, uh, I promise I'm going to look for them, e either on Amazon, local Toys R Us, wherever I can, Target. I'm going to pop into every store. We're going to do videos where I go toy hunting for these. Uh, because even though I don't really typically buy a lot of toys anymore, uh, just because of money and stuff, for these, just to make video content, I will definitely pick them up for you guys, uh, and we'll talk about them. So uh, yeah, so there you go. We got uh, Venom and Carnage. Those are $19.99 each, and they'll come out in like the first wave along with either two or four more figures in this wave and we'll have to wait till mid-february to toy fair to find out who the other figures are going to be uh, next up we have once again we have venom and carnage uh, again in titan form so titan form is like if you remember that scarlet spider uh, toy i ate the box of a while back uh, i have black costume spider-man now this is the new spider-man packaging i found this at walmart for like six dollars so i picked it up like a month ago or something and uh, they do have venom in this set and this Venom looks identical to this Venom. So I'll put the picture up of Venom first. And there he is. Um, and this Venom that is coming out in this Venom line is almost identical to this one. So what Hasbro does a lot is they recycle. They're, they're, I mean, they have to, in a sense, it's smart business to recycle parts. I collect Transformers, and a lot of times you'll get one Transformer, and then a year later, it'll be that body with a different head on it and painted a different way. And, and then they call it a different character. Uh, but back when Transformers first came out, they did that a lot. They designed, you know, like six guys, like, like Starscream, uh, and then like Skywarp, and they made characters that looked like each other and uh, so that, that way when they made toys they could just repaint the same toy and maybe change the head and then resell it uh, and it's just a part of their business practice but um, you know that's what they kind of do with all their lines and uh, they do it with uh, G.I. Joe, Hasbro, I mean uh, Hasbro does it with G.I. Joe, they do it with Star Wars um, and they do it with uh, Marvel especially and these Titan ones I think this is like the third or fourth black costume Spider-Man, and I think the design on his sh the spider is a little different, but other than that, it's like the same mold, the same figure, and they just repaint it. But I'm okay with that, because whenever I miss one, like I know a year or two later, I'll get another chance to buy like the newer version. Um, so that's what this Venom is, and that's also, here I'll put the picture of Carnage, he is. And this Carnage one, they already had a Carnage come out based on the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, um, and, uh, and that's kind of where this Carnage mold came from. So again, these aren't going to be, they might have slightly different paint jobs, like this one has a little bit more black on the arms and in the chest, uh, and then around the eyes and stuff, but for the most part, this is the mold that was used before uh, for a previous figure. So again, these aren't based off the movie designs, but they are going to be branded as Venom, you know, like the, uh, the Venom series. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And to show that off, uh, so these Titan figures are going to be $9.99 each, retail but if you see them at Walmart they'll probably only be like six or seven dollars um, but the last thing we're gonna show is this and the reason I wanted to save this for last is this is the two-pack Venom versus Carnage so these are the six inch or five and a half six inch figures and these also came out in the recent uh, like Hasbro has been doing this recently with the spider-man cartoon where they make these low posable not a lot of posability in these they just kind of their arms move up and down their legs move up and down and sometimes their heads turn left and right and that's pretty much all the posing you can do with them and they're just like little you know uh, toys that are mainly aimed at kids uh, for the most part uh, as you can see it says four plus on here so it's definitely for little kids who lose accessories and little you know weapons and pieces and it's just a figure for them to play with and smash together with another figure and so what I find very interesting about this box though is one the artworks amazing it looks very Clayton Crane-ish uh, which I really dig uh, the the lettering that's going around and there's like red uh, wrapping around the carnage side and, and black around the venom side the design is really great but in the middle there you see the word venom in a and with the M swishing around like a tongue and coming back down under and what I like about that is that is not a logo version of Venom that I've seen before it's not the one I use on this show because I use mine off the based off the 90s run uh, there was the Venom Flash Thompson series that used like a similar version of that uh, there was Venom the Space Knight which like a little more sleeker version um, and so there's been different versions of the word Venom as logos but this is new and I'm wondering if this is our first look at the official Venom font for the movie um, I don't know, obviously. I, I'm just taking a guess there, but it, it seems like a lot of work to put this in there. I don't, maybe it's even from the new Spider Man cartoon that I haven't seen yet. Um, oh, like, I haven't watched a ton of that yet. So, for all I know, it's the lettering they use for that. Um, but I was just thinking if it wasn't, maybe this is our first look at the actual logo for the movie. Like, when we see the movie posters, maybe this is how we're going to see the word Venom written out, which I would totally be cool with because it looks really neat. It's kind of splattery. There's like, you know, it's 
connecting to each other. It's like drooly looking and slobbery looking. And then you have the M making the tongue, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share these toy figures with uh, these images of these toys with you guys and get your thoughts on them. What do you think? So, again, these will be labeled as Venom the movie figures or Venom, you know, the series or whatever. Uh, they'll probably just blanket it and just have Marvel Venom on it like this, this two-pack does. Uh, but they're not really... Um, based off the movie design so the, they have not finalized those yet so uh, that's not what these are so they are part of the movie and they're not part of the movie but they're still awesome and I'm still gonna buy them and the other four figures in the set they may reveal to be you know like in the movie they might make an Anne Weighing figure and instead of basing her off the comic book maybe they'll make her look like Michelle Williams and maybe they'll make an Eddie Brock figure that looks like Tom Hardy so that would be really cool and also one note about this two-pack I want to mention is that this is an alternate Venom the uh, Hollywood Reporter mentioned that in their article. So that means there's going to be a, a you could buy these single in single pack, Carnage and Venom. Uh, but I guess this Venom is painted a little differently, or maybe he has a different head with a longer tongue, but that he's some kind of variation off of whatever the other version is going to be. So uh, so that's maybe another incentive if you already bought the single Venom to buy the two-pack, because not only do you get Carnage, but you get a different, like, you know, mold of Venom, too. Uh, so, yeah. And that again, these molds were both used in the Ultimate Spider- or the, yeah, I think it was the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon figures that were on sale for, like, $7.99 at your local Toys R Us and stuff. Um, but that's fine. I don't mind. They repackage them. I didn't buy them the first time and seeing them in like official Venom packaging I'll get them I'll get them so I can have them hang them on the wall maybe or do toy reviews for you guys something um, but yeah again let me know what you think of all this down below and everyone who wrote me about this like Eddie on Instagram thank you for writing me um, yeah so I you're you're right there they are kind of movie toys but they're also not based off the movie designs so we still have to wait a little while longer to see what those toys will look like uh, but I'm excited let me know what you guys think down in the comments below like share subscribe all that fun stuff I'll see you in the future peace